A sacred fire burned all weekend on Makwisagagan First Nation to honor 10-year-old Jalen Angus. She loved music and dancing. She was buried today after taking her own life. This is, uh, it's just unthinkable. Jalen's aunt is a mental health therapist. Help these children. We can't help the ones that have already passed on, but help these ones that are, that are, are seeking help. Jalen's friend, a 14-year-old girl, took her own life earlier this month. And in the summer, band counselor Tommy Little Spruce lost his 16-year-old granddaughter Maggie Ben to suicide. He says her home life was troubled and she was in and out of the child welfare system. They have to deal with drug abuse, alcoholism in their community, sexual abuse, domestic abuse, physical bullying. They deal with that every day. So they're afraid. Little Spruce wants family counseling and parenting courses. To heal the community, heal the homes, and it'll have a ripple effect to the youth who are suffering right now. James Kaidohat is taking his son hunting. Ten-year-old Devron went to school with the young girl who died. I got him close to me every day from now on. Both the federal and provincial governments have pledged more resources, but the provincial opposition is calling for a suicide prevention strategy. Families are hurting, they're looking for answers, and they're hearing nothing from this government. We're going to continue to work forward in, in looking at the, the uh, gaps that may be out there in services being offered, Mr. Speaker. The band leadership says crisis counselors will assess all school-aged children for suicide risk in the days ahead. But they're asking for long-term funding to hire full-time therapists, ones who would provide suicide intervention training and family counseling for months, even years. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.